Support for this program is provided in part by Widow's Fresh Marketplace. Welcome to The Natural Cook. I'm Anna Gershenson. Today we are cooking light. We are preparing for a warm season and so we want to feel light. We don't want to eat foods that are cooking long and slow and keeping us warm. And today I prepared a very special menu that is easy, that is fast, that is full of nutrients. So let's start. First of all, the salad we are making is a Thai coleslaw. We are used to coleslaw being um, heavy with mayo and with real like green leaf cabbage or red leaf cabbage, but today we are using light ingredients and we will start making the marinade. So you can use either serrano or jalapeno pepper we are going to take the seeds out and then uh, you can actually keep them in if you want your salad to be spicier because the seeds are the ones that give you most spice. I am going to take them out just in case. And then we are going to mince our pepper and combine other ingredients for the dressing like fish sauce and some sugar, lime juice. And later, after it sits for about 10 minutes, we are going to add uh, some coconut oil, uh, some coconut milk. Okay, so um, it's easier if you just straighten it out and then just make thin slices along the rib of your pepper and you don't have to go all the way down. You can just stop at the end so that they would be kind of holding together. And then you will be um, cutting them on a short side and this way you are going to make to get really nice mince and when you are going to be eating your salad you won't be biting into any kind of big pieces that are going to make you um, feel kind of surprised with, with the spiciness unless you really want it. Okay, so chopping our nice spicy peppers. And of course, spice is always good for you because it makes your blood run. The cabbage I chose for this recipe, and by the way, this recipe uh, came from uh, a wonderful new magazine called Milk Street, and Christopher Kimball, who used to be with Cooks Illustrated, um, actually uh, started it, and I'm very excited about the philosophy that he is using in preparation, uh, because uh, it's going to be like all kinds of fast, flavorful, easy, and nutritious things that they are promoting. Okay, so let's put the pepper into the bowl, but first we will put, uh, we'll add three tablespoons of lime juice that I already squeezed. And remember that you want, you want to roll your lime. I'm actually kind of feeling the pepper in the air. It makes me feel a little bit um, peppery in the throat. One tablespoon of fish sauce and four teaspoons of sugar. And then we will add our peppers, mix them all together, and then we'll proceed with chopping. And that's very convenient because while we are chopping and slicing, our marinade is going to be getting infused and 
ready to dress the salad. Okay, so now we are going to proceed to this wonderful cabbage. It's Napa cabbage. It is very light. It is um, very good for salads. Kimchi is made with it. So you cut it in half and then you put it down and then you thinly slice it and you are going to get nice shreds and because this cabbage is so light it's going to be very easy to dress it with this flavorful dressing so you are going to go all the way down make sure that when you get to the thicker part of the leaves that you go really thinly and as you can see I'm holding my fingers right next to the knife and this way it is not allowing me to cut the, the thickness that I'm not really interested in. Okay, so this is going to give us really good quantity as you see. This cabbage is just about one pound of cabbage but as you can tell it gives you a big big volume. I prepared baking sheet here, my favorite way to, to dress salad so that I wouldn't be over mixing them. And I will be just piling them one on top of the other. All the ingredients that go into it are going to be piled one on top of the other. And then it will be really easy to mix them. Okay, so as you know, Napa cabbage, even though it's a lighter cabbage, but it is in the cruciferous family. And it's really very advisable to try to include cruciferous vegetables into um, every day into your meals. Um, this happens to be raw. You can lightly steam other cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower and all the cabbages and horseradish belongs to that family and arugula and, um, and radishes. So make sure to to feed yourself well and um, to, to really nourish your body, to give it a fighting chance um, f with whatever you do. Okay, so now the next ingredient is sugar snaps. They are going to give us really nice crunch. This is four ounces of sugar snaps and what we are going to do here, we are just going to cut them on a diagonal thinly and again, I'm lining, lining them up and putting them a little bit on a bias to make it easier to keep bias and holding them down firmly. And just like I showed you that right now uh, we are just focusing on cutting it thinly and um, these sugar snaps are going to give us a nice, nice crunch and sweetness and of course it is delightful to eat um, the, the vegetables that are crunchy and light especially if you are eating them with some kind of heavier uh, meal like maybe you know you are grilling a steak and it will go very nicely with it or it will be nice also with fish you can you can take it with you on a picnic. So this is really a fantastic, fantastic salad. Okay, so we are done practically with our uh, sugar snaps. And see how beautiful the green is uh, against this pale, pale yellow um, of, the, of the cabbage. So we will distribute them nicely all along. And now radishes. Radishes, we'll cut them in half. You'll use six radishes. We'll cut them in half and then thinly slice them. So let's cut them all. Put them down so that they are really um, placed conveniently for you, not to slide around. And of course, this is a very good um, tactic to use to create this kind of surface. And then. You just cut it very, very thinly. Okay. So, radish offers um, a little bit of bitterness. So, as we know, all kinds of flavors are important 
to use in our meals. Sweet and tart and bitter and salty. And so with this salad, you are really accomplishing it all. You are getting wonderful variety of flavors that not only will please your palate, but it will also satisfy your your yearning for food. So sometimes when we eat too many sweets, we want to eat more. So this salad is really something that is going to be very balancing on top of being very, very nutritious. Okay, so now that we are done with our radishes, we are going to chop some mint and cilantro and um, they are going to be coarsely chopped. We want to make sure that you are getting a real bite of, of these wonderful herbs. Um, and of course, mint, as you know, it's really wonderful to aid in digestion and it's cooling. So it all plays with, with this theme of getting ready for a warmer season and eating light and feeling cool. All right, now we will add cilantro. And then after this is done, we will chop some salted roasted cashews. They will come in at the end of the meal. And um, the good thing is that seeds and nuts are also very valuable in your diet. And they give you the proper fats that you need and this is also a salad that really would would respond to all these kind of requirements that we mentally hold for ourselves when we are eating like okay i want to it to be delicious but i also want it to be nutritious all right let's chop some of our nuts Okay, so as you notice, I'm not really adding salt to this salad because fish sauce is very salty. It's also very pungent. It has a lot of um, depth to it. And so it gives us this, you know, umami, umami flavor that, that is very special and very, very satisfying. So when we will be tasting, then we might add like another another splash uh, if we feel that we don't have enough salt or sprinkle a little salt on top okay so now that our nuts are chopped we are going to whisk five tablespoons of coconut milk into this salad and i actually bought this little jar of coconut cream and because when it's cold coconut cream tends to separate from coconut water that is in the jar. And I suggest for you to just dip it into some kind of container with hot water. And that way um, it will just melt and mix together with, with the coconut water. You just shake it up and then you can use it. Okay, so let's add it to our dressing that's there. So this is actually the only fat that we are adding to this wonderful coleslaw. So based on what we are used to, these coleslaws with lots of mayonnaise, and mayonnaise of course became very, very popular in this country, like in the 19th century and has been used in, in um, many salads. And it's, it's pretty heavy, even, even though they start selling now light mayonnaise. It's still pretty heavy. Okay, let's taste. Mm, very nice and spicy. So I will add just a little bit of salt because I know that unless you season your dressing really, really well, the salt gets absorbed very quickly into the, into the ingredients. And then you kind of don't taste all the ingredients coming through. So now, I will pour this into my, onto my salad. Okay. Dress it. 
just toss it. As you can see, um, I am not really working with the whole um, quantity, but do it part by part, and that doesn't doesn't uh, like prevents me from over mixing it, over handling it, but at the same time making sure that um, all the ingredients in the salad are flavored and coated with our dressing. And now we will just add a little bit, sprinkle on top, and, and leave a little bit of it to sprinkle on top, on the very top when our salad is ready. Mix it in. Okay, taste. Mm. Absolutely lovely. Okay, so let's put it on our platter. Okay, beautiful and delicious, nutritious, and it says, eat me. Okay, sprinkling some nuts. We can put a little sprig of mint on top and our salad is ready. You see? how quick it is, and you can make it together with me. If you are taking on a picnic, I suggest you just mix together all the vegetables, but uh, leave the dressing. Take it with you and, and mix it there because your, your cabbage is going to wilt um, as it travels. Okay, so now let's clean up. And the next recipe is going to be something that is... Um, equally exciting, equally easy to make, and very, very nutritious. And today it's going to be chia pudding. Chia seeds are superfoods. They came to us from Mexico, and they are just super nutritious, um, have so many good qualities that you really want to include them in your diet. You can sprinkle them on salads, they absorb a lot of liquid, so make sure that when you are eating chia seeds that you are consuming a lot of liquid. As you can see, I already prepared it in advance because it's an overnight kind of dessert. You can eat it for breakfast, for dessert, for a snack. You can make it chocolate like I did today, or you can just make it vanilla. So, um, for chia, for chia pudding, I have prepared uh, the chia seeds, maple syrup that is going to sweeten it. Um, if you want to have it um, totally vegan, which this dessert is, you can use either maple syrup or you can use um, agave. Uh, if you want, you can sweeten with honey, however, it will not be we uh, vegan. Um, also, we have cocoa powder, I used raw uh, organic cocoa powder here, and also um, unsweetened almond milk. And I am using almond milk because uh, it's, bec it's become really, plant milks have become extremely popular and widely used. And I even read that uh, a dairy, one dairy farm, completely switched its operation from being dairy, producing dairy milk, cow's milk, to producing plant's milk. And then a little bit of salt. Um, we can add vanilla or, you, you know, if you don't want to have the vanilla flavor, you don't have vanilla, you don't have to add it. You can use, you can add cinnamon. Cinnamon is also in addition to chia seeds, which balance your uh, sugars in your blood and, and, and kind of slow down um, uh, digestion and also distribution of sugar in your in your uh, blood. Um, you can use cinnamon. Cinnamon is also a wonderful spice. I didn't use it here. You can also use um, some kind of you know chili pepper, sprinkling chili pepper. It's up to you. You can you can decide what you want to do. So I measured all my all my ingredients and I wanted to show you that. Now when I'm baking or measuring ingredients for this kind of pudding, I really love using 
uh, a scale instead of measuring. I just weigh things and it's so much cleaner and faster. And I really recommend for you to invest in, in this kind of little tool. So let's put our cocoa. It's uh, one third cup of cocoa, one uh, actually one quarter cup cocoa, one third cup of chia seeds. Um, we'll mix them together because you don't want to have any lumps of, of cocoa. You can also put it into a blender and that, that way um, you will make sure that your cocoa is really blended very well and um, and then your chia seeds will be also blended, but it will give you a little different texture. I like the texture that is a little bit kind of um, chewy. So then you just add um, about a quarter teaspoon of uh, sea salt, and it really makes a difference when you add this. And then um, you can add maple syrup as a sweetener. And it's up to you. If you want it sweeter, you add more maple syrup. So recommendation for this recipe is like between two and five tablespoons. Also, you could use dates. If you are blending this dessert, you can use dates. You can put them into the blender together with these ingredients and they will be pureed and they will sweeten um, your pudding very nicely. Okay, so we are going to stop for now and then we are going to taste how we like it. So. At this point, we can start adding our um, almond milk. And again, as you see, I, I add a little bit at a time because I want to form a paste since I'm not blending it. I want to make sure that all the um, little clumps of cocoa get blended in. So interestingly, chia seeds um, that came to us from Mexico, as I told you before, that they were really used um, as a currency. That's how valuable they are. They also were used by warriors and by runners. And all they would do is take a tablespoon of chia seeds and that would sustain them for 24 hours. Isn't this amazing? So this little seed, this little um, plant seed that um, you wouldn't really suspect that it had such wonderful powers. It has a lot of, it has omega-3s. It is um, um, helping you uh, achieve beautiful skin, build your muscles and bones. So this is really an amazing, amazing food. And the interesting thing about it is that we make a dessert that everybody loves to eat and then we can just enjoy ourselves by having something sweet and at the same time nutritious. Okay, so we'll mix this together. I will add a little bit of vanilla. Okay, maybe about half a teaspoon and then I'll start tasting to see if I like um, the amount of sweetness. Mm. To me, this is just perfect. And remember that you also want to, um, you would probably be questioning like why we're adding salt to this dessert. But salt brings out flavors not only in savory but also in sweet things. And it is really uh, quite important for a balance of flavors, kind of like for yin and yang of flavors. All right, so I prepared a jar. You would want to, you can have like little containers if you want to serve it, uh, you know, for the table. You can have clear little containers and pour this pudding into them. And then, then when it's, it's all gelled, um, you want to just um, put it into, um, like decorate, like throw granola on top or crushed nuts or, you can have different berries. So it will be really a wonderful, wonderful um, dessert or a snack for your breakfast. Okay, so we'll, we'll put it in, then you cover it and you can put it in the refrigerator 
and forget about it until the next day. And then when you open the door of the refrigerator, won't you be so happy to know that there is something yummy waiting for you there? Okay, so um, now that we have made these two beautiful, delicious, nutritious um, foods, we are going to um, we are going to taste them to make sure that they are to our satisfaction, and uh, and look at this look at this beautiful plate. I'm not happy with this um, decoration here, so we'll put something a little bit brighter. And um, another thing, another thing that that you can you can you do with chia seeds is just um, sprinkling them in, into salads or you can um, if you have uh, you know you you make a soup and you want to have like soup puree especially and you want to have something a little bit crunchy you can sprinkle it on top um, and also you can just mix it into your smoothie and um, remember also that since chia seeds are you know, they, they absorb a lot of water. You want to make sure that you, you really consume good amount of liquid and that um, and they will give you all the nutrients that you need. So let's try um, our delicious salad. Okay. All right. So you have this wonderful crunch of, of cabbage as well as radishes and sugar snap peas. And they deliver all kinds of different wonderful nutrients to your body. So I can taste the spiciness of jalapenos. It is really absolutely beautiful and satisfying. And our pudding, we will take a little bowl, a little jar, a little container, and we'll put the pudding into it. And then we will add some strawberries. and a little bit of mint and see how beautiful it looks and let me see how it tastes mm. light and delightful so today you joined me to cook with me to make this wonderful, easy, nutritious, delicious food at home. Please do it and enjoy. Thank you. Support for this program is provided in part by Widow's Fresh Marketplace.